hello and welcome to my garage <laughs> this is a strange video but i'm going to be spray painting a toaster and a kettle because here's the thing let me show you so this is my toaster and my kettle as you can see they're red when i moved into my last house our like color scheme was black and white and red um which is fine but then when i moved into this house i kind of decided that i was like over having a pop of color is like so five years ago so i decided to just do black just straight black and white and for an accent color like i didn't really want an accent color but like i knew i'd probably want some like metal finishes and here's the thing i hate gold and like i understand that everyone loves gold but it's just not my vibe i like silver when it comes to like jewelry but like when it comes to decor it can get a little tacky we've all seen those fucking white and silver houses that some of you love but to me that's so tacky and like just trying so hard to like look rich and it just looks like you have ikea furniture and you put some silver accents in there so like glam is not my vibe so i decided for accent color i kind of wanted like copper sorry like i have my garage door open <laughs> And it's pouring right now, so if it's loud, my apologies. So I decided I kind of wanted copper as my accent color, because like silver, I'm over it. Gold, I hate it. And like I understand people use gold because like gold, like a nice like brushed gold or like a brushed nickel looks nice. But I was like, you know, copper is like my jam. So what I started, so I saw I started looking for copper toasters and kettles, and <laughs> they're expensive. So I decided to spray paint I might have to actually close my garage door because there's getting water on my toaster um so I decided I am probably gonna have to spray paint or I'm going to try to spray paint my toaster and my kettle because I like the design of them a lot I just don't want to like I don't want like I don't want it to be red so that's what we're doing today I did some googling and my husband bought this hi I guess I should put my license plate in there. My husband bought this spray paint. This is the Rust Oleum High Ultra High Heat Ultra Long Lasting Enamel Rich Color Semi Gloss Sheen, resistant up to 650 degrees Celsius or 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. I obviously don't need that high heat. This is obviously for like stoves and barbecues, but I didn't want to get a regular um, spray paint and then have it not work with the heat because like obviously a kettle and a toaster get warm so i got this i believe the color is antique copper i'll put a link to it down below i don't know what it was called in the store because i literally just told my husband to go to the store he was already going to home depot so i was like while you're there give me some high heat spray paint in copper and to make sure that i liked the finish of it i had tried to do a test spray on cardboard but like copper is kind of close to a cardboardy kind of color so what i did was i i spray painted this in my hard lemonade can and like can we talk about that beautiful copper finish? What I like is that there's like silver flecks in it. I don't know if you can see. So it has like that nice sheen. Mm, that's gonna look fire. So I've already, I scrubbed down my kettle and my toaster. And now what I'm gonna do is tape off the parts that I don't want painted. Like obviously the toaster has like this big silver strip in the middle I'm gonna tape off. So yeah, let's do that. Oh, also subscribe to my channel up every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, home, to, home videos aren't really my vibe, but now that I own a home, they have been. I did a home tour, I did a kitchen reno video, and I've done an office tour, so now we're spray painting toasters. I don't know what I'm doing with this channel anymore, but it's just about my life. So let's tape. Hi, where are my painting clothes? Don't judge me. So I'm just going to tape off basically for the kettle. Let me wipe the rain off of it. Oh, she's still a little wet because I did kind of put her in the sink. So I'm just going to kind of rinse it off and I'm going to tape off basically just the handle and this back part and the bottom, basically all the black parts and the silver part. taped over where it needs to tape. I'm just gonna take an X-Acto knife and just kind of cut around it to make sure the line is clean. Again, I don't care if it's like super perfect, but 
Also, I'm pretty sure this is a box cutter my husband stole from when he worked at Superstore, but we still own it, so. And with painter's tape, it's kind of trash, so you want to really, like, push it down. I'm going to take off I fucking hate painters tape with my whole life so the kettle is taped off now it does say to sand this stuff before application and I have this little sanding block but I don't think it's like gritty enough so I tried to sand it as best I could and as you can see it took some of the shine off but it's not like really sanding it so I sanded it like I said the best way of my ability I only kind of half care so I'm just going to wipe it down one more time with a towel and then we're going to do her. And I'm going to start with the toaster because the toaster has a back. So if I fuck it all up, it's like kind of okay because it's just the back of the toaster. Let me move everything else out of the way. We're just going to give her. I've basically taped for so long that I've stopped caring about taping. I mean, I think the sand's kind of working because there's red on my sander. We're doing it, people. So what I'm trying to do is get into like the cracks and the crevices first and that way like if you have a like it's a little bit splotchy right now but it should be okay so I'm actually just gonna leave the toaster over here to sit and I'll work on the kettle while that side dries and I can flip it I mean honestly like we're looking pretty sweet, I'm not going to lie to you. And again with the kettle, I'm going to start kind of on the bottom around the cracks and the crevices and then do like a nicer spray around. I'm sorry if you can't really see this. I really don't know how to like angle the camera, maybe like behind me. Hold on. And I will say, do this outside because it smells like spray paint. <laughs> Okay, my kettle looks sweet, don't you think? Look at her. Oh my god, she's beautiful. Like an angel from the heavens. Oh, see? Mist underneath though. So it's really important to like twist your thing. And with spray paint, you just want to like always keep it moving so that you're not getting blobs or anything. I kind of want to touch this and see. And it dries really fast, so now I'm going to try to do the other side of this. This is the side that was so hard to tape. So I'm going to try to like do the bottom here first and this around the edges and then I'll go around everywhere else. For these parts, like these little, uh, like the pushers, I have to like push it down and then be right there. <laughs> Same thing here. And just kind of hope it doesn't fuck up. Okay, so I'm going to leave these. Let's see how long I should wait, leave them to dry. It just says, allow finish to become tacky between coats. So, oh shoot, I got this. This, this little guy's bubbly for some reason. I think it's because I was touching it. I'm not really sure what's happening there, but... I just want to leave them 
for a couple minutes and then we'll come back into a second coat. short and sweet because I got 7% battery left. So the toaster and the kettle turned out fantastic. I absolutely love them. I might put like a high gloss finishing spray on them, but honestly, like without it, I feel like they still look really cute. I think it is totally possible to spray paint your toaster and your kettle. That's all I'm saying. Um, I did have to take the tape off and kind of do touch-ups. I used, I just kind of like re-taped sections and then sprayed them. I would recommend spraying the spray paint into like a Tupperware lid or something and then using a brush to paint on the touch-ups because once I took the tape off and like re-taped just small sections to touch it up, I did end up getting fucking spray paint everywhere. So I do need to look for like a spray paint remover just for some sections of the black, especially on the kettle. On the toaster, I got it on the side, but it's the side that's against the wall. So like, I'm not that concerned about it. But even with like a few little kind of defects here and there, I think it looks super cute and no one can tell. And yeah, I did about three coats on both the toaster and the kettle and I think they're adorable and I highly recommend spray painting your appliances. Um, I will say taping was the worst part, but other than that, everything was super easy. Spray painting, it was super easy. The spray paint dried really quickly, so you could probably get this done pretty efficiently. Like it only took a couple hours once the taping was done just because I was letting it dry in between but I probably let it dry for faster than it needed to but yeah overall obsessed with the new tattle and coaster tattle and coaster <laughs> um also like can we talk about this bun it is out of control today so yeah I love the way everything turned out please ignore this like pile of garbage I moved a pile of stuff I moved over so you couldn't see it I'll just stand in front of it so yeah overall I'm obsessed with my toaster it looks so cute I mean, it's probably not as like intensely copper as real copper would be, but I mean, close enough. And again, I think if I got like a metallic or like a high gloss finish, it might make it look a little bit more metallic, but overall, like I said, I'm obsessed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you guys think. Let me know if you've considered spray painting your appliances before or if you want to now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.